Hello and welcome, Commanders, to another episode of Testing Ground, the show where we ask our community what's the coolest, craziest thing you can think of, and we're more than happy to oblige. In this episode, we'll have some fun messing around with the slowest shell in the game, see how many vehicles we can destroy with just one shot from an MS-1, and find out just how many tons the monstrous mouse can move on its own. Let's begin. First up, one of our viewers asked us an interesting question. What would it take to hit the fastest tank in the game with the slowest shell? So, let's fire up everyone's favorite wheeled speed demon, the EBR. Meet the Matilda, a British tank with the slowest shell velocity in the game, a measly 182 meters per second. In addition to the aforementioned EBR, we'll be bringing out the reliable mouse for this experiment. How is this going to go down? Keep watching. We positioned the Matilda roughly 500 meters from the EBR's trajectory and fired repeatedly at the passing EBR until it landed one solid hit. After the shells fly, we'll check the distance between the wheeled vehicle and the Matilda at the precise moment the shot landed. Then we'll repeat the process with the mouse. Let's roll. To say that we used up a ton of shells in the Matilda is an understatement. Shot after shot after shot until finally one connects. The result? 90 meters. This is the distance the EBR can travel until the British tank's shell flies 500 meters. We did a few more tests just in case, but the result was always the same. Next, we'll try this experiment again with the mouse. To say we had an easier time pulling off this test is an understatement. Though it still took a few tries, the result? 17 meters. How about another angle? This time, we loaded up the FV-304 SPG that boasts a shell velocity of 240 meters per second. That's clearly faster than our prior test subjects, but don't forget this is artillery, so it fires shells in an arched trajectory, meaning each shell needs more time to travel. The other conditions remain the same, so let's see the results. Like our prior tests, the French wheeled vehicle had to try very hard to get hit. The result? 105 meters. That's a far greater distance than the others. For the mouse, we had the same result as before, only 17 meters. To say this experiment was a long shot wouldn't be a stretch, but we're happy with the results. Time to move on to the next one. In a previous episode, we tested whether a small MS-1 could destroy four mouse tanks in one shot. The results were entertaining, so we challenged ourselves to do even better with the simple question. How many tanks can the MS-1 destroy with just one shot? Roll the experiment. The conditions for this experiment are similar to our previous test, but let's do a quick rundown. We take the mouse, flip it on its side, and take it to the edge of the bridge. Then, the MS-1 targets the ammo rack and fires away until the mouse explodes. The turret falls off and destroys all the enemy vehicles below, with the MS-1 racking up all the kills. This time, though, we're bringing out a lot of TKS tanks. Due to their small size, we can pack a ton of them in one small space. Hopefully, we can get some explosive results. Let's break some records. The TKS tanks are lined up in dense rows, with the mouse's turret dangling above. Now it's all down to the merciless sniper itself. After a barrage of gunfire, our merciless sniper bags itself four kills. That's not enough, not even close to the previous record. So let's try another map. Flipping the mouse on its side wasn't particularly helpful, so we needed to mix things up and picked the Klondike map to give this experiment another go. MS-1, fire away! Yeah. 
So far, so good. The mouse's turret fell at the required spot, but the tiny tanks proved more resilient than we anticipated. I guess we need to decrease their HP. This time, we racked up six kills. A small improvement, to be sure, and we think we can do better than that. Let's try our well-rehearsed plan a few more times and see what happens. After several more attempts, we finally got the result we were hoping for. The MS-1 manages to destroy nine tanks in one shot. Credit where credit is due to the merciless sniper. That's definitely deserving of a like, so click that like button while we prepare our next experiment. One of our most popular experiments from previous episodes involved our favorite ironclad behemoth, the mouse. Could one solo mouse sumo wrestle against 59 MS-1s? And how about 59 EBR-105s? In each test, the mouse emerged victorious. That leads to the big question, how many tons can the mouse actually push? Roll the experiment. To find the answer, we head over to the Overlord map, taking 15 Panzerkampfwagen 35T tanks along with us. Each of them weighs 10 tons. So that adds up to 150 tons total. That alone should be a walk in the park for the mouse, so we're going to raise the bar. Instead, let's swap out the Panzas for some Dicker Max tank destroyers, which weigh 25 tons each. The simple math adds up to 375 tons. Even that was a cakewalk for the mouse. So let's double the weight again. This time, we're dropping in 15 T-10s into the mix, weighing 50 tons each. Can the mouse successfully ward off 750 tons? It took some serious effort, but the mouse still stands strong. Time to up the ante again. Let's bring out our biggest and baddest heavyweights. 15 Oni heavy tanks, weighing a whopping 100 tons each. 1,500 tons of pure steel. Can the mouse pull it off? Yup, it sure can. Now, unfortunately, we've run out of heavy tanks to test, so why not use the mouse itself? Let's set up 20 other mouses and find out. We set up our mouse-on-mouse -mouse battle on the airfield map. Let's flip them all sideways and see if one mouse can move 3,760 tons of other mouses. After five minutes, things are at a standstill. Is this the time the mouse finally fails us? Let's make things a bit easier and rearrange them in one row after another. Let's see if this works. Perfect! The mouse is somehow able to push past 20 other mouses. To sum up, in case it bears repeating, the mouse is an exceptionally powerful tank. Now we're left wondering, how much further can we go? Could it move 59 other mouses? 60? Who knows? That's all for this episode of Testing Ground. If you have a crazy idea for us to mess around with, drop a comment below with your ideas. They may just wind up in our next video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all the latest tank action. See you next time.